In macOS 13 and later on Mac computers with Apple Silicon chips, the virtualization framework supports Rosetta in ARM Linux virtual machines. Rosetta is a translation process that allows users to run applications that contain x86-64 instructions on Apple Silicon. In macOS, this allows applications built for Intel-based Mac computers to run seamlessly on Apple Silicon. Rosetta allows the same capability for Intel Linux applications in ARM Linux virtual machines. Hey guys, my name is KS Kiral. This is M1 Mac running Mac OS 13 Ventura, and this is Ubuntu running inside a Rosetta VM. Thanks to Apple, Rosetta 2 works on Linux that allow running Intel binaries on ARM Linux virtual machines. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on M1 Mac running inside a Rosetta virtual machine. After installing Ubuntu on VM, we're going to enable Rosetta on Linux VM to run x86-64 Linux applications. The first thing you need is a Mac with Apple Silicon. In my case, I'm using the first generation macbook air with an m1 chip next up on your mac you need to be running mac os 13 ventura by the time of recording this video mac os 13 is in beta and can be installed by signing into a beta program then head over to github and download the two files you go ahead and download the rosetta vm and ubuntu 2204 desktop edition Keep in mind that Ubuntu desktop for ARM64 is a daily build and it's not a stable update. Once it's done downloading these two files, place them somewhere on your computer for easier navigation. Now unzip the Rosetta VM and open it. The first time you open it, the application will be blocked due to the security reasons. To fix this, open system settings, choose privacy and security, and scroll to see the blocked applications. Choose open any way to start using. Once you open the Rosetta VM, you will be asked to import the Ubuntu ISO. Then the VM will start loading the Ubuntu live session. Go ahead, click on install Ubuntu desktop and follow the standard installation of the distribution that you have downloaded. Once it's installed, reboot the VM. Now you are running Ubuntu 2204 on a VM on M1 Mac. Let me go ahead and change the few settings to make Ubuntu use the full screen. Inside Ubuntu, open Firefox and once again head over to the GitHub page. Scroll over here and copy this command. 
Then open a terminal and update the sources by typing this command. You paste the command you copy to install Rosetta 2 on Linux VM. Once Rosetta 2 has been installed, you need to enable the Rosetta wrapper to translate Intel binaries for ARM Linux. To do so, copy this snippet and write it down somewhere and save it on your computer. These commands need to be executed every time you reboot the Ubuntu VM to use Rosetta 2 for translation. That's it, now I have enabled Rosetta on Linux VM. It's time to change the APD source list by adding a support for AMD64 packages. To do so, open the terminal and type this command to change the permissions for the APD source list. Then type this command to open the APD source list using a text editor. Then copy this code and paste it to the bottom of a source file. Once it's done, press Ctrl plus O to save and Ctrl plus X to exit from the text editor. Lastly, you need to tell APT and DPKG to enable AMD64 repositories by typing this command. Once it's done, you should run sudo apt update to update your cache of known packages. That's it, now we have enabled Rosetta 2 in Linux Virtual Machine. You can install any Linux app built for x86-64 or AMD64 by appending colon AMD64 to each package name. For example, you can install Xsize by installing this package. Now if I run Xsize while I'm running the AMD64 package on ARM Linux. Apart from this, Rosetta 2 for Linux is still in the alpha stage and don't expect every application should work fine. Now as of now, after rebooting, I could not able to install AMD64 packages as throwing a lot of dependency issues. I also tried running a C program compiled for Intel chip on ARM and guess what? This is throwing a Rosetta exception. I believe this will take some time for the developer to figure out and fix all the issues and make Rosetta fully functional on Linux virtual machines. Other than that, Ubuntu 22.04 on M1 Mac running inside a virtual machine is the next level. I'm astounded by the performance of Apple's virtualization technology. Ubuntu works like a charm. You can apply multimedia content, run graphic intensive applications and more. And that's pretty much it. If in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see a versatile tech content. Thanks for watching this video. This has been KSK Rao. I will see you at my next one.